In the International Conference on Advanced Visual Interfaces, we are presenting the paper titled as Breast Screening on the Use of Multimodality in Medical Imaging Diagnosis, a Platform for Annotating Medical Images. My name is Francisco Calisto from ESCR Lisboa. Then we have Professor Nunes from ET. And finally, we have uh, Professor Jacine Nascement, also from ESCR Lisboa. These are the authors of, of the paper. Why cancer? Why medical imaging? Cancer is leading cause of death worldwide, accounting for an estimated 9.6 million deaths in 2018. Between 30 to 50 of cancer can currently be prevented by avoiding risk factors and implementing existing evidence-based prevention strategies. The cancer burden can also be reduced through early detection of cancer and management of patients who develop cancer. Cancer mortality can be reduced in cases if are detected and treated early. There are two components of early detection, early diagnosis and screening. On early diagnosis, we have care and clinical components as well as treatment access. Compared to this, screening identifies patients abnormalities. HCI plays a fundamental step on supporting early diagnosis and screening. So, diagnostic systems has been studied under the HCI field. There is a large amount of publications in the field of HCI. However, our solution is different from previously works. Namely, three issues highlight our proposal. First, the use of multimodal images in breast diagnosis. Second, the possibility to provide radiologists to have the annotations in all modalities. Third, we also provide a rich medical images and annotation data sets. How to improve and support medical imaging? The data set is extremely important since recently there is a bunch of machine learning algorithms that use rich annotation data sets. In this case, we are able to provide this new data to those machine learning algorithms. Specifically, we created a solution to generate information to the algorithms. Our workflow is as follows. First, we present the medical images to clinicians. Then, we provide facility to image visualization. And finally, clinicians are able to provide medical annotations in all modalities. You may wonder, why multimodality? Because there are two situations. When we have adipose tissue, we just need mammography. However, when the tissue is dense, mammography is not enough for proper diagnosis. So it is imperative to use um, multimodality strategy. In this case, for dense breast, mammography, ultrasound, and MRI. Sometimes clinicians uh, perform some kind of loop between uh, these modalities so that uh, the, the inspection of the lesion can be successful. It is why it is very important to have some similar proposal as we do in this work. There are two types of lesions, masses with small contours of the tissues and microcalcifications, which are little points on the tissue. In this case, we provide uh, the workflow when diagnosing this, the same lesion among the several modalities of medical images. So we want to collect this information and we aim to locate and to store this information in our data sets, which should be easily done by clinicians. And we need to provide a platform with ease of use. Our multimodality system provides interaction, easy visualization, as well as big data generation and management. The interaction is made in terms of multimodality. The visualization is accomplished with cluttered breast lesions, last 
we obtain a rich multimodal data set with annotations. In our work, we propose to study and to validate this novel platform with 31 clinicians in six institutions of healthcare in Portugal. The clinicians are distributed according with the following. Eight clinicians from Hospital Fernando de Fonseca, 12 clinicians from IPO Lisboa, one clinician from Hospital de Santa Maria, eight clinicians from IPO Coimbra, one clinician from Madeira Medical Center, and one clinician from Sarms, a private hospital in Portugal. The recruited specialists are in an advanced career positions and were observed and interviewed in a semi-structured fashion. Each session took approximately 30 minutes, making a total of more than 16 hours of observations and interviews. Screening of 566 acquired image from Hospital Fernando Fonseca. However, we have more than 4,000 images now. The technical design challenge lead to a set of design issues. The combining the clinical context and the technical design challenge lead to a set of design issues, including medical imaging structure trade-offs, radiology room temporal awareness, image segmentation, and radiologist system trust. Based on these design issues, we define five design goals. Design around and for medical imaging. Second, temporal awareness support. Third, image segmentation, segmentation support. Fourth, several modality supports. And fifth and finally, growing trust overview. Now, let me explain each of them. The first design goal, designing around and for medical imaging is taking into account the heterogeneous nature of medical imaging to leverage each contextual richness. The second uh, design goal, temporal awareness support, is observing how the radiology workflow events, treatments and problems progresses over time. The third design goal, image segmentation support, is an overview of image details allowing a, a more accurate diagnostic, namely reducing number of false positive specification, uh, medical scale users that we call uh, virats, and is used in worldwide, of, as well as improving the number of clicks when performing the lesion delineation, which is segmentation. Then we have several modality support as design uh, goal, which enable the view and the process of diagnostic imaging studies, including mammography, ultrasound, MRI. Uh, so these uh, medical modalities. Finally, the last design goal, growing trust overview, allowing an efficient triangulation via visualizations, image processing between medical images, and available features that are annotations of masses and calcifications. To validate the proposed design goals, we created breast screening as a medical imaging visualization proof of concepts to be evaluated in a realistic clinical scenario. In our design explorations, we thought to integrate several image modalities and visualization to support insight. The user interface consists of two main components. The first one, list of patient views. We have a study list of patients that the interface includes on the top corner of the screen. And also the second one, medical imaging diagnosis views. In this case, we have the viewports where clinicians can interact with mammography, ultrasound and MRI using a set of features on the toolbars. Finally, clinicians can change their respective modality on the modality selection freely. The procedures are as follows. You may think that the multimodality may overload the workflow of clinicians. The provided evidence of the contrary, um, we do here in this work, 
where we intend to test two conditions. First condition, single modality, and second condition, multimodality. We want to demonstrate experimentally that multimodality is faster than single modality and more accurate. This means that clinicians do not have to work more while dealing with more images in a multimodality strategy. We collected complete imaging exams for three patients, patient one, which are the set of patients with low severities. As I said before, uh, the VARAD is a scale, a scale between zero to six. However, the zero was excluded and also the six because the zero is when a clinician want to classify the image as um, not complete. They want to acquire more images. The six is just confirmed by biopsy. Then we have patient two, a high severity virus, higher than three, and patient three, medium severity, between two and three virus. Four relations emerged from our analysis. Here we have used differences between SUS scores and SUS questions among clini clinical experience of interns, junior, middle, and seniors. The workload measurements of both single modality and multimodality. The relation between time and number of clicks clustering by patient, the patient one, patient two, and patient three. Not forgetting that patient one is low, patient two is high, and patient three is medium. And accuracy of, of clinicians. Participants of adopting the multimodality condition obtained higher SU scores than those using single modality condition. In general, the workload improved for mental demand, physical demand, temporal demand, performance, effort, and frustration while using the multimodality setup. Despite the overall amount of time has increased, the time per image was reduced. The number of clicks was also improved. Therefore, we can argue that in the same amount of time, clinicians are providing more clicks, which are and which is directly related to the number of annotations in the lesion. For the BIRADS classification, it is clear that the multimodality performs better since the most severe BIRADS, which, are, which is in the middle, exhibits the smaller mean and variance in the most of the cases. Also note that the most problematic patient, which is the one in blue in the middle, uh, so on the left of uh, each color, we have green and blue and purple. On the left, we have the single modality results and on the right, we have the multimodality. For low, green. For high, blue. And medium, purple. Next. Clinicians were invited to give some feedback about the UI. During the open interviews, we received several positive comments regarding our breast screening system. At the end, several clinicians answered that the system will be an asset of an immense importance for the current radiology room situation. Another positive answer was the one related to the frequency of use. For this new assistant regarding the current system used by the clinicians on the daily practice. The conclusions of our work. We identify the main clinical workflow issues, establish a set of design goals to medical imaging diagnosis, design reflection and in situ evaluation of breast screening. We also provide this as a contribution, the impact evidence of multimodality in diagnosing and severity classification of breast lesions with 31 radiologists between six different clinical institutions. Our results show that the system can lead to more efficient and accurate clinical diagnosis. Thank you. Uh, again, my name is Francisco Calist. If you have any detail that you wish, please contact me.
and thank you again.